platform yes, fee. Sir. I'm gonna talk about the front of the trailer with my bulkhead. I'm gonna make sure there's no excessive damage. All my rivets are in place. I'm gonna talk about my lights at the top. Those are my clearance lights. Uh, that's telling me that my trailer is no more than 13 feet, six inches tall. They're amber in color, clean, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, good working condition. Then I'm gonna talk about the side of my trailer. I'm gonna make sure there's no excessive damage to the side of the trailer. All my uh, bolts and rivets are in place. My safety inspection sticker is up to date. I have DOT reflective tape going at at least 50% of the trailer. And then I'm gonna talk about my cross members. They're securely mounted, they're not cracked or broken. They're held in place. Uh, I have my um, landing gear. The frame itself is not cracked, broken, bent, or excessively rusted. My crank handle is not cracked, broken, bent. I have two gears, high and low. It lowers and raises my legs. My legs are properly greased, not cracked, broken, bent, or excessively rusted, and they have a shoe on each one. Then I'm going to walk down further. I have my side marker light, amber and color clean, not cracked or broken. This is a running parking light, four-way flasher, and my turn signal. I have my air lines. They have no abrasion bolts or cuts, not leaking the air, and they're held up with a screen. I have my sliding tandem. It has two pins. The pins need to be in. The frame itself is not cracked, broken, bent, excessively rusted. Uh, my release arm or my release button are probably working to engage and disengage my uh, my pins. And I'm going to tell you about my trailer axle. So I'm going to start with my spring hanger. It's securely mounted. It's not cracked, broken, bent, or excessively rusted. I have my torque arm. It's not cracked, broken, bent, excessively rusted. This one is. You either have uh, airbag or shock absorber systems or you have uh, leaf springs. This is leaf springs, so it's held in place by U-bolts, saddle on top, anchor plate at the bottom. My crack broken bent or excessively rusted. I have my stabilizer bar for this one. The springs themselves, I'm not, uh, not crack broken bent and not missing. If this was an airbag and shock absorber, I'd make sure the shock absorber is securely mounted, not crack broken bent or excessively rusted, and the airbag is securely mounted. Not, uh, no abrasion bulges or cuts and it's not leaking any air. Um, then I'm going to go to my, uh, talk about my foundation brakes. I have my brake chamber. It's not cracked, broken, bent, excessively rusted, not leaking any air. My air lines, no abrasion bulges or cuts, not leaking any air. Push rod, slack adjuster, properly working, not cracked, broken, bent, excessively rusted. No more than one inch of free play when the brakes are released. My brake drum is not cracked, broken, bent, excessively rusted. There's no oil or grease in it. And then my brake pads, no oil or grease, and at least a minimum of quarter inch of pad thickness. And we're gonna come out to my trailer tires. Make sure they're evenly worn, no mismatched sizes, uh, can be recapped, regrooved, retreaded, properly inflated manufacturer specifications between 90 and 110 PSI. A uh, minimum of 230 seconds tread depth, no foreign objects in my tread. No foreign objects in my bud space, a minimum of three inches in my bud space. Sidewalls, no abrasion, bulges, or cuts. Proper seal to the rim. The rim is no welds, not cracked, broken, bent, or excessively rusted. All my nuts and bolts are in place. I want to make sure uh, you no know, rust streaks or shine spots indicating looseness. My hub oil seal is not leaking any oil. My valve stem is present and it is capped. Then I'm going to go to the rear of the trailer. That starts with my mud flap. It's securely mounted. It's not hanging too low. If it's hanging too low, it can mean I have lower pressure in my tires, suspension issues, I'm on uneven ground, or I have an overweight or shifted load. I want to make sure it's no foreign object, it's not rubbing up against my tires. I have my ABS light, amber in color, securely mounted, clean, not cracked or broken. It's working properly, it should come, go on and off when I start the vehicle. If it stays on or it doesn't come on, there's an issue. Side marker light, red in color, clean, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. This is just my running and parking light. I'm going to go up to my ID lights. My ID lights are securely mounted, clean, not cracked or broken. They're all red in color. All right, they represent my width, which is no more than eight to eight and a half feet wide. Uh, I have my door. There's no excessive damage to the door. It goes up and down. I have my reflector tape on the corner and at the bottom. My, and my latch latches and latches properly. Then I'm going to go to my tail lights. They're all clean, not cracked or broken, red in color. The outside are my running parking lights, four-way flashers, and my turn signals. The inside are just running and parking lights and my brake lights. All right, then I have my uh, license plate light, securely mounted, white in color. License plate is securely mounted, present, clean. And I have my DOT bar. It's not cracked, broken, bent, or excessively rusted. And I have DOT reflector tape across the whole bar. 
18 inches from the end. And that forms the 